and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today, I'm going to be doing Get Ready With Me to go to Ascot. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is like a trial run the day before, but I'm absolutely so ecstatic with how it's come out. I think it looks super elegant. I love the hat as well. I'm going to leave all the links for everything down below. The dress, I'm going to show you doing my makeup. I didn't really do my hair. But I'll show you putting the hat on and then I'll show you my outfit that I'm going to be wearing for Ascot as well. I want to do a couple more of these videos because they're so much fun and I know you guys love them. I hope you guys don't mind but this is a voiceover just because I kind of didn't know what I was doing. So I couldn't really talk whilst I was doing it, you know. I said it'd be a really long video. But if you guys want to see my Ascot look and get ready with me for Ascot, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off just with a fresh face. I've actually got my Soap and Glory robe on, which is super comfy. And then I'm going to go in with my Ole Hermitson. This is the Banana Bright Eye or Face Primer. I think it's the face primer. It's really nice. It smells like oranges. Beautiful. Then I'm going to be using the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. And this is in the shade SB13 or 15, but I'll leave it down below anyway. I actually love this foundation so much. It reminds me of Armani Luminous Silk. It's not too thick, but it just looks like skin. It looks very flawless, and the color match is insane for me. It just matches me beautifully. So I'm going to apply this all over the face, as you can see. I like to apply this with a brush. I don't know why. Sometimes I then go over with a beauty blender as well, just to kind of bounce this all over. Then I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the, in the shade Warm Sand as Concealer. I tend to do this a lot with the Too Faced and the Huda Beauty just because it is very heavy coverage but it's still thin in application so it's not as cakey but it gives you the coverage that you need. Then I'm going to be using my Illamasqua Concealer Pen. I'll leave all the shades for it down below and I really like this one because it looks very, very flawless. This is going to be my highlighting color so you can see that it's about two, three, four, five shades lighter than my skin but I like a good highlight. It's just very like... I don't know how to explain it, velvety and creamy, but it kind of blurs. I feel like it's got a blurring effect and it looks beautiful in photographs as well. It just works wonders. So I'm going to pop with that underneath my eyes and all the high points and blend that out as well. As you can see, I love it. I also actually take this on the tops of my eyelids as well because I need to get rid of that shadow. I just want a really nice blank canvas. Once I'm done, beauty blendering this all out. I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals foundation stick. I use this in like more of a bronzy shade. I believe it's almond. can't remember but it's this beautiful kind of warm tone. Obviously a foundation for a darker skin tone. About two or three shades darker. I think two shades darker is to still keep it natural. Um, but I like to just warm up with this. It kind of brings my natural skin tone back after the highlight as well. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love to cream bronze as opposed to powder bronze. I do go over with a powder sometimes as well, but I just like to put the basis of that cream down just because it. I like to work with creams and liquids, guys, not so many powders. Then I'm going to move on to brows. As per usual, I'm going to be using Benefit Cosmetics. I'm going to brush all my brow hairs up. And then I've been trying something a little bit new with my Precisely My Brow in shade number 5. I like to just add it to the ends and just a little bit through the midsection. But you can see the difference. Like there's a big difference but I don't want to go too crazy. Like I know I can go crazy with my eyebrows but I'm, I'm trying just to concentrate on the ends to perfect them. I'm then going to go into my Morphe. This is the hashtag Morphe Babe blusher palette. I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's like a coral. I'm going to pop this on my cheeks. I like to smile and I put it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it up towards my temples. I actually love blusher. I'm such a big blusher girl now. I never used to be. But it just adds a little bit of freshness to the skin. I'm going to be using Benefit's Hula Bronzer in Caramel. And I'm going to use this as like a contour for the eyes. But this is also going to be my eyeshadow. I want to keep it quite simple for Ascot. Very elegant. So I'm just going to pop this bronzer shade through the crease. Using a bronzer just keeps it looking really neutral and it keeps it within the kind of skin tone range. It's still warm as well and I do like caramel. It's just got that little bit of warmth. I also actually like to take this down the sides of my nose. Kind of like a faux contour but it just ties everything in together. Then I'm going to go into my melt stack and take this dark brown shade. This is in the shade Rot. I love this. I've had this stack for ages. And I use it so much. I always travel with it as well. It's just so convenient. What I'm going to do is with an angle brush, just give myself a smoked wing liner. 
this isn't as harsh as uh, like liquid wing liner. It's just a little bit more smoky, a bit more diffused. Then I'm going to tight line. I don't know any pretty way of doing that. And then I'm going to use my Givenchy. This is the Prisma Le Bra powder. I'm just going to set with this because I know it's going to be a long day. I'm going to set heavily underneath my eyes. And then I like to do it around my nose, nose and mouth area as well. And then just underneath, kind of like setting the whole of my face really. And then I'm going to smoke my lower lash line out as well. We're then going to just brush that powder away very lightly just to leave it looking very smooth and just brush it away from like everywhere that you've got it and then using the um, Urban Decay Summer Solstice, Summer Solstice, I can't say that, spray, I'm going to spray my face using Ofra's highlighter, I'm going to pop this in my inner corners, I love this palette, it's called the On The Glow palette, it's stunning, I always travel with this, really beautiful, it's not got glitter in it but it just looks wet, everything that I absolutely love. So I'm popping that on all the high points and living my best life. So you can see what it looks like right here. Then going in with benefits of Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I really like this mascara. Um, it's a really good layer of mascara, but also good if you're wearing falsies. So I'm going to add a couple of coats on my top lashes. And then we're going to go in with, in with Kiss Veil Naked Drama Lashes. Because I'm going to Ascot with Kiss, I'm of course going to be wearing their lashes. And I've also got their stick-on nails on right here that you can see. And these lashes are beautiful. They're very natural, very wispy, but just add, I don't know, it's just, I don't know what they add, but they just add that little bit extra, you know? I love them. They're just super natural. I'm going to line my lips just with a Primark. This is like a brownish lip liner. And then with the Nude Sticks Gloss, go over the top. I love me a glossy lip, more so than a, a kind of matte one. So I'm going to pop this on. It's a pinky nude as well, which is always beautiful. I think I did pop on a little bit of Barium's plumping gloss as well, just on top, just to make it a little bit lighter um, and to plump my lips. And then I'm going to spray again. I think I'm also going to be showing you guys my outfit and how I do my hair. Well, I didn't really do much to my hair. I'm just going to brush it through and I'm going to keep it straight for the day. And then I'm going to show you my hat that I'm also going to be wearing. But before that, we do need to change out of this robe. So I'm going to pop on my Boohoo dress. This is what I'm going to be wearing. And then I'm going to pop on my hat by George Dirty. She's lovely. Georgina made this customized hat. How stunning is it? There's a little bit of trial and error trying to get it on. I'm not going to lie. I struggled quite a bit, you know. These hats are very difficult. But I just thought it was very classy, very elegant. I wanted something a little bit more simplistic. Um, I feel like in this video I wasn't wearing it correctly. But I did on the day, so that's fine. And it's got that beautiful veil coming over as well and then I wanted to show you guys my outfit too so for my outfit this is the black boohoo dress it's very affordable they do it in a range of colors as well I think it was 20 pound and then of course I need shoes so I've got these boohoo shoes I'm not gonna lie these are super uncomfortable I can walk in them for about I don't know half an hour but you don't want to be walking a lot in them and then the clutch is from next you can also see my filming stand because I try to get everything in Okay guys, so that was the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite bit about this was. I absolutely love this dress. I think it's very elegant. It's super cheap. I think it was 20 pounds from Boohoo. I'm gonna leave the link for it down below. Love the hat. I feel like the hat brings it all together. And I really love the shoes too. I think the makeup is really simplistic. I think, I don't know. I don't know what kind of makeup you're supposed to do. I've never been to an event like this, but I'm assuming you need it like simplistic and natural, very elegant that kind of vibe, so I've just got like diamond earrings and diamond, fake diamond earrings in as well, just to complete the look. Let me know your thoughts of this down below. Also follow me on Instagram if you want daily updates from me. I story all the time, but I also put, up, put out a video for you guys every single day on my Instagram. I'll leave the link for that down below as well. And I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.